more days to 2020 and thinking about this year i've sure learned a great deal in 2019 it has had its ups and downs i've had failures and successes but the best thing is i'm ready to share them all with you and so let's get to it <music> what's up clevy nations welcome back to my channel if we're just meeting for the first time my name is clevy right here on my channel you're going to find productivity study and lifestyle related videos that are all dedicated to helping you become a more productive and successful student and even though you're interested in these types of videos make sure you join clevy nations by subscribing to my channel and by clicking on that notification bell to get notified when i post a new video every saturday how did your christmas go and i hope you had so much fun given that this video is my last upload for 2019 it just feels right to sit with you and go over the things that i've learned this year and i'm doing this with the hope that you get to learn from my mistakes and get inspired by the good ones <laughs> this is one lesson i learned so much this year always plan Planning has made me very, very productive. There is one beauty about planning is that when you get to do everything you set out to do and you've completed them, you find out that there are other free times that will be left for you to do other things, thereby even making you more productive. Bear in mind that I'm fully aware that there are so many times you will plan out things and it doesn't actually go as planned. But even with that, it shouldn't make us not plan. Planning brings out the best out of you. Planning makes the most out of your time. Don't go into 2020 without a plan. you find that if you always plan, at the end of the year, the boxes you're going to check are definitely going to be more than the ones that are going to be left unchecked. And why is that? Because I know life will always happen. We may not always get to check everything on our list. But at least the ones we'll check will be more than the ones if at all we never had a plan this is one lesson i learned the hard way this is one big mistake i made in 2019 and so i'm going to be sharing this with you if you look at my channel right now you will notice that i've changed my channel banner i've changed my about i've changed my intro and so many things on my channel and the reason is because of this if you can remember in this video right here, we are was talking about the motivation to study. I said something. Here is what I said. Now in my life, I'm awaiting a very big decision that is going to be life changing for me. And most times, I always imagine that with that decision not being in my favor. Sometimes I'm always unmotivated. And so the major decision I was waiting for was my admission. And for whatever reasons, I don't know why, because I know I was qualified, I had everything they needed, but yet I wasn't still admitted. And because of that, I felt so bad. And that is life. Life doesn't actually happen as planned. This is one of the failures I had this year. This wouldn't have been the case if I had tried other options to get admission. But I tried only one of that option. And now that it didn't work out, I need to start all over again. And so next year, I'm sure definitely going to try other options. And so this is one thing I learned this year. When I'm trying next year, I'm sure not going to make the same mistake. I'm going to try other options, no matter how sure I am, no matter how confident I am. This is one thing I want you to learn and not to repeat 2020. Please, in case you want to try something and there are other options, please try it no matter how confident you are no matter how good you are no matter how qualified you may feel please make sure you try other options because that's life for you it may not work out the way we plan them i know this is something we constantly battle with in our lives but don't quit don't stop trust me when i say this i've been there I've been down that road. I felt this year wasn't even for me. I felt so stalked. I felt things were not going as planned. I felt so many things this year, but I was almost tempted to quit. And I just sat down and imagined the future, the end product. If I still stayed, 
if I tried again and it worked out, I imagined the future. I imagined how happy I would be. I imagined how fulfilled I would have been. I imagined how satisfied I would have been. And that alone motivates me to keep trying again. And I want you to do that. Even if things are not working as planned, just imagine if that your plan has actually worked out. Imagine how happy you would be. Imagine how fulfilled you would be. And let that alone be the fuel to your fire let that alone be the one that makes you want to try again because you know how happy you will be to me i always prefer to suffer now and enjoy tomorrow so let me take the paints now let me try all over again let me fail now so i can enjoy tomorrow and that's what i want you to do don't quit don't stop we are gonna try and we are going to try again till we succeed <laughs> I want you to know this you failed today because whatever you're reaching for is worth failing for this is one thing I did this year that has been of a great help now there are so many things we love doing but we are not good at now I don't want you to sit down and wish you were good at that thing for example if you know you love doing makeup and you're not really good at doing makeup. I don't want you to sit down and wish you were good at it. But I want you to take the necessary steps that will help you improve your skills. Is it now the time for you to attend makeup classes or watch YouTube makeup tutorials or go meet your friend who knows how to do makeup to actually teach you? It will help you so much. You're the night sky trying to make me see your... So you need to take all the necessary steps to improve your skill in whatever you love. Because here is what I know. So many people are good at something but yet they don't love what they do. And so if you, you can invest in your passion, if you can invest in that thing you love doing, you will be unstoppable. This is one thing I have learned this year and I wanted to also learn from your it. Eyes, there are so many nights I cried. There are so many nights I felt God has forsaken me. There are so many nights I felt I wasn't worth it. There are so many nights I felt miserable. And it really hurt me so much emotionally and psychologically. It was really bad. I wasn't even proud of myself. I wasn't confident of myself. I felt that whatever I have achieved was nothing compared to this one big bad failure. And I felt so bad. And it affected me emotionally and psychologically i know it's not easy i know it sounds easier said than done but it is what it is don't let that bad situation get the best out of you because i allowed this bad situation get the best out of me it made me not to be thankful. I was just here and I was like, every bad thing is happening to me. Why should I be thankful? That's why I felt. I felt like every bad thing is happening to me. What should I be thankful? And one day while I was sitting down, not being thankful, something just happened and it made me realize that so many people have died this year and I am not one of them. And that alone made me thankful. The fact that I'm still alive means i can still try again and in case you're just in this point where you've gotten to that stage where nothing means anything to you anymore where you're not being thankful i want you to just realize that you're still alive and the fact that you are alive means you can try again and what if the next time you try you succeed i'll say this in relation to my youtube channel I had so many insecurities that made me not to start my YouTube channel. First, I was like, who would watch me? Who would be interested in what I had to say? I was starting late. I didn't look like a YouTuber. I didn't have camera. I didn't have a good phone. I didn't have tripod. I didn't have... There are so many things I was just listing out for myself that I didn't have that wouldn't make me start my YouTube channel. I didn't have the money to always be buying data for my YouTube channel to upload my videos. I needed to start with all these your insecurities, start with the mess because there will never be a perfect time. That is one thing I know and we just keep on procrastinating. This is it. I need to start now. There is no perfect time. This noun 
is the perfect time. Now is the best time to start. And you need to stand your ground, believe, be confident, and don't get discouraged. Don't get me wrong, sometimes they may just be concerned, but they don't know that it's coming out the other way around as a discouragement. Don't let that discourage you. I need to believe in whatever you want to do. Keep on holding on, just keep pressing on because I know that there is a light at the end of this tunnel. I know there is a brighter tomorrow and that alone should keep you going. I need you to know that you can be whatever you want to be. You can do whatever you want to do. Never limit yourself this is one thing i learned so much this year and i was wishing i had started doing some of these things last year but i limited myself and it made me do the things late don't ever set this boundary don't ever feel you can't go beyond this particular point you can you can go beyond that point you can do beyond whatever you want to do Silence is so loud when you go and before 2019 runs out let me know what life lessons you can take away from this year just let me know in the comment section down below just go ahead and spread those words of wisdom don't forget to share this video join Clevy nations by subscribing to my channel and by clicking on that notification bell to get notified every single time i upload a new video every saturday if you've learned so much in this video i want you to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and make sure you watch these other two videos i made specially for you Clevy nations i can't wait to see you in my next video see you in 2020 more better stronger and blessed i love you and thank you for watching